Hi everyone, welcome to day 10 of the Valentine Love Cards. Today, as you probably saw in the title, is Mercury Hearts Slim Line. So we're going to do another slim line. And I'm going to show you everything we're going to use first. Polished pink cardstock, which I still need to cut. Basic white cardstock, and these, one is for the inside and one is for the front. So the front is cut eight and a half by two and a half. And the inside is cut, um, it's actually right now it's at eight and a half by three and a quarter, but I need to cut that down to eight and a quarter. I'm sorry. Yes, eight and a quarter by three and a quarter. And we need our card base from this. And then we're going to use this in color 2021 to 2023 shimmery vellum. Uh, this is the polished pink. And we're also going to bring in the Mercury Glass Acetate Hydrangea Hill. This is in the annual catalog. And we're going to use two in the, which was Rococo Rose color, and one in the uh, silvery color on the back. And it has a film on the back, which we'll peel off. We may do that after we punch. So for stamps, we're going to use Create with Friends. We're going to use Love and Forever. We're also going to use the Dotty Hearts embossing folder. And we're going to use this, this one here that is um, dotted hearts, actually. Let me turn this light down a little bit so you can see, hopefully. Uh, still, there we go. And then we're going to use this die to do the love sentiment out of the tasteful labels dies and let's see what else oh the um slimline envelopes i'm not really going to decorate it but we're going to use smoky slate so we need one of those they come in a pack of five each of soft succulent smoky slate and white and then we're going to use metallic pearls in the silver and this metallic mesh ribbon, which is also silver. Um, um, and, and also the Heart Duo Punch Pack. We're only going to use the, um, I think I only used the scallop heart. There's also in that a plain heart. They come in a, in a two pack and they're in the annual catalog. There's the item 151292. So we're going to use the scalloped one. And then we're also going to use the Banner Pick-A-Punch. It's really a standby for me. Uh, I use it a lot. 153608 in the annual catalog also. The annual catalog, by the way, only goes through May 2nd. So if there's anything you see that you would like or anything else, like cardstock, please get it um, now. Um, don't wait till the catalog's almost over because things may sell out and they may not reorder them. Um, also need some scraps of basic white. This is a half inch strip that I have left and I'm going to use that for the word forever. And this scrap I'm going to use for the, well, I say I am, yeah, I'm going to use this for the word love. And all right, let's get started. Let's cut our card base and do our hearts first. Um, so this is eight and a half by eleven and a, by eleven, and we need the eight and a half to stay intact. So I'm going to turn it on the eleven inch side. Pull my arm out. I think I've shown this before, but if not, and then we're going to go to. I don't have a whole lot of room here to seven. So eight and a half by seven. Cut. You have a piece left over you can use for something else. And then just slide it down, don't turn it, and go to three and a half and do your scoring. And now you have your card base, eight and a half by three and a half. And while I have the trimmer out, let's cut that one um, larger piece for the inside down to eight and a quarter. And then I can put the trimmer away. I don't usually save strips like this in the white because I don't, I could not stamp a sentiment even if it was that small on a piece of paper that small. <laughs> I just wouldn't be able to. So I half inch is about the smallest I go. Take your bone folder and 
give it a good um, crease. Sometimes I even go like this and then turn it back just to get it to stay. All right. And so this is what's going to go on the front, but not yet. All right. A couple things we have to do. First of all, um, let's move these out of the way. Let's um, punch our hearts. Actually, I said I get rid of the trimmer. But you see where I punched out three hearts here. I'm going to cut that off. Actually, I might save that little... <laughs> I'm funny that way. Uh, save that little piece right here. I might be able to use that for something. Not another heart. And the rest of the bits are too small. I won't save those. Um, okay. So now we're going to punch a heart, our hearts, three of them, out of the shimmery vellum. And just come along the bottom. That's why I cut them off because I need to be able to go along the bottom here and um, you just need to make sure you're over far enough this time I did it better so I have a piece left here um, so I'm going to put that away and then we're also going to do the same thing out of the Rococo rose color mercury glass and this is a little harder to punch I have to stand up and push down hard here we go so that is a tip <laughs> also. Now there is a, a, a film on this like I mentioned and um, I don't know if I got that one good. It's alright. I didn't quite get that one up high enough. The tip was sort of off but it's not too bad so I'll use it anyway. Yeah okay and that's that. I don't like to waste things either. One sec, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I am, um, I'm a little bit under the weather. So now this side, I think is the side that has a film. Yeah, and just take your, take your pick or other sharp tool and pull it off. And I'm gonna do that on all three. Um, you really wouldn't have to do it on two of them because we're gonna have the pink side facing up, but it's all right we'll do it on all of them and this one like i said i cut the little tip off but it's okay because i'm going to put it on top the polished pink and it won't be that noticeable because you're going to have a polished pink tip there so that's what we're going to do we're going to stick two of the pink ones down like that and one of the, the silver side on and that's going to go in the middle so before we do that we'll, we'll assemble in a minute we'll get everything together right let's do our stamping all right we're going to stamp forever Oops. in polished pink on this half inch strip and then we'll do the banner thing hope you're having a great January I just am like where is January going already wow I actually got that straight <laughs> I got it straight everybody Yay. and that's it for the polished pink and then we're going to get out smoky slate or you could use um, sometimes I use basic gray instead of smoky slate um, just because I think for sentiments just because I think it stamps a little you know a little darker now I'm going to put this down on here and then pick it up to make sure it's, it's because it's photopolymer that it's not like bendy in the middle and we're going to try and center that on my scrap here just go straight down push there we go and now I have to die cut that so we're done with the smoky slate unless I mess something up in um, die cutting so here's what we're going to do you could run this oops you could run run this through the um, mini machine but I have the big machine set up behind me so we're going to use that but first I'm going to get some 
um, little washi tape that I've already made less sticky by putting it on my skin first. Actually, I might have used these before. Is that on there straight? I think that's a little bit crooked, actually. Let's see how that is. I don't know. My eyes are <laughs> playing games with me today. All right, let's see. I think that's pretty straight. I think. It's a little bit over to the left, but that's all right. I'm going with it. I'll be right back. I'm going to turn around and just die cut that. All right, so the die cutting is done. And see this washi tape, it tore the paper just a little bit there, but it's all right because it's a scrap piece, right? All right, there's that. I'm going to put this back in my Tasteful Labels dies. These are in the annual catalog. I will have links to all the items down below. If you're interested in any of the products I'm using today, they will be uh, linked below. And then you can just click on the link and it'll take you to my online store. Now, we're going to use this Dotty Hearts, um, this one like I showed. And it's an all over pattern and that's a good thing you would need that to do this because this piece of paper is longer than the um, embossing folder so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this sort of over at the edge and then because this is not a 3d it gets run through the machine with plate one and then just three and three so the only difference from when you're die cutting is you take off plate two, which I see I need to clean. So we have one, my badly, or really heavily used, I should say, and then my top plate three. And that's what I'm going to run through. And you just need to run it through once. Then we're going to bring it back out and we're going to turn it around and do the other side and you will get some overlap but some of this will be covered up anyway by hearts so it's okay or if you're really wanting to and you could just run it in fact i think that's what i did so about here is where it stopped let me see if you can tell right here so really you could just go like this maybe i'll do that and only run it through that way you're not getting hearts over hearts if you know what i mean okay so let me do that and run that through um the other thing you can do is put it all the way up to the top and only run it part way through I'm just going to come back now. Um, let's see how I did. So we don't have any embossing folders here. It's not too bad. Um, there's a little bit of overlap right here, or maybe I didn't get it really good, but it's okay. Uh, it's going to be hard to see this. Okay. Now you could actually take a blending brush and make it a little more pink, but I want it to be white. And that is going to go on the front of our card. But we're actually going to take, I think it's just a tad longer than eight and a half for some reason. Shouldn't be. No, it's all right. Um, but we're going to wrap this around it. So see, we're covering up some of that embossed anyway, but it does show up nicely on the card when it's finished. And I'll show you that later. So I need about, you know, nine inches or so of this. I'm going to cut it down. And then I'm just going to get my seal. This is a delicate ribbon, so you only need seal. Um, flip this over. I'm using the, you could use either side. You could use the one where the, the dots are sort of 
indented into the card which is this one or I like to use it with the dots up so it has texture so the back is the one with the the, um, the hearts indented but you could do it either way you like and then we're just going to stick that on and then bring it over you don't want it to be curled so not too tight we got a little extra on one end here but it, it's really thin ribbon so i mean as far as uh, height so it doesn't really matter and actually i'm going to give it one little dab here in the middle just to make it lay down and then we can go ahead i'm going to use wet glue and go ahead and glue this down and we're just going to try and center it um, from vertically on the card i'll show you what i mean because it's going to go all the way across right and you just kind of want to have it so the card is three and a half and this is two and a half so you just need about a, about a half inch on either side and go like that and you have a little bit of the ribbon um, off the edge but it's okay all right now let's do our hearts we need glue dots for this you might be able to use seal but um i don't know i use glue dots so that's what we're going to do and we'll do the center one first i'm just going to put like three uh oh, where's my center one center one is silver so we want to put the glue dots on the rococo rose side which is a retired color but they carried these this uh, acetate over which really rather oops my glue dots are on this roll backwards i forget about that so they're up here and one more down here towards the bottom i'm trying to get it on the pink part which translates to the silver part on the front that way it won't show through as much when we get it put down right and if you had it in the clear part you'd be able to see it so that's what we're doing all right and then we're going to put dots on again and same kind of thing i'm trying to put it where it won't you know this time there's one here hmm. weird uh, and then this one's up here <laughs> still trying to get it not in the clear spots all right i have some had some on my finger so i got it on the marking glass and then uh, we're going to put this one straight up and down approximately centered right about here and sort of up towards the top of the of the white strip and then we're going to do the other two and they're going to go at angles like this They're pretty easy this time i want the glue dots on the silver part of the mercury glass for the next two and this one's over here this roll is um has an issue <laughs> but i'm using them anyway they still stick you only need really three um glue dots and they will come back up if you don't get it lined up right like that there okay and then we'll do this one as well now this one doesn't have too much silver down towards the bottom but i'm gonna have to put one down there oops i, I didn't put one over here I have two on that one side now oh well but i'm gonna have to put one i'm gonna try and get it sort of right near the tip on that one all right and then we'll hold that up and i actually like the scalloped hearts because you can 
kind of line up the scallops on the two pieces. All right, and then I think, did I bump? On this one, I had bumped this one up, but now I guess because I didn't do that, I'll bump both of these two side hearts up instead. So we're going to use dimensionals. I do have that on a little crooked on that first one. But you know what? It's all right. I don't think anyone will know except you and I. <laughs> all right. So you can vary your cards, you know, however you'd like. It's just, just to give you some ideas. And then this one. Over here. Oops, that's up too high. Let's see how that's... I think my center heart is not in the center. And that one's down with glue dots, or, yeah, let's try and pull, yeah, see, it came up pretty, pretty good. Just don't want to tear the ribbon. Okay, tore it a little bit. Let's just center that in between the two hearts a little better. Is that better? A little bit better. Okay. Um, now, for love, um, we're going to also put that up on dimensionals. And that'll go like this down here. So I'm going to put them at the bottom. And because that is up on dimensionals too, I need one in this corner. I'm going to, and I don't want to use, usually I would use wet glue to tack it on, but I'm going to use a glue dot because it's going to be on um, the acetate. So a glue dot will stick better there. And take these off. I'll show you what I mean. Because it's overlapping with this heart that I have up on dimensionals. There's our love. And now we have to do our forever. And that's going to come out from the love. And let's see. Did I... Um, The, this end is going to have the point. I may have to do that a couple times to shorten it a little. <laughs> yeah, definitely I have that too long. I'm going to cut that down a bit. So just use your judgment on how long you want it to be, but it is a half inch up and down strip. And actually, I'm going to cut the other side down a little bit, too. I'm going to cut that too short. And that's going to use the flag end. And I cut it a little short for me to hang on to it. <laughs> but there's a tip for that. You can use a sticky note. I need to go over a little bit. Sorry, guys. There we go. All right. And there is our forever. So we'll also put that up on dimensionals. Um, but again, it's going to be, it's just going to be a little bit right there. So I'm going to go ahead, just put my finger over that end so I don't get it too close. And I'm not even going to worry about that right now. We could put a glue dot on there too, but it's not going to stick over very much. Because you don't want to cover up the word. And actually I might go up just a little bit. Let me make sure. That's straight. That's pretty straight. Okay. Now we just have to put our metallic pearls on, which are right here. They come with gold and silver. I just happen to have extras of the silver 
Um, I still have... I use the gold apparently a lot more, which is surprising because I'm a silver girl when it comes to like jewelry and stuff. And on the first card I made, I put one at the tail of this, but I'm going to put one here. And then one up here. And we're going to put about five on this card. And we'll put some up here. Four. And I might even put seven on. And I think I'm going to put one up here. There we go. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I used seven on the first card. You could do that. And then the only other thing is to use our inside piece, which is, and I did not put any stamping on this one. You could, if you have a happy Valentine's Day or whatever you would want, but I don't know. I just used the love forever. So we're just going to glue in this, um, three and a quarter by eight and a quarter piece of basic white and our car will be finished now some people would just leave it like this because if you used a dark color pen you could write on the polished pink but I have an issue with the weight because the front is heavily decorated so it has more weight so I try to even the inside of the card out with the outside so there is our card for day 10. If you are interested in winning this card, um, here's the, the one I made before. Oh, and it will come with a slimline. It will come in a slimline envelope. Here's the pattern. I didn't change the pattern because uh, I didn't really use designer paper or anything on this card. I just used some um, designer acetate and shimmer vellum and then the silvery ribbon and um, an embossing folder. I think it's really cute. That light is so bright. It's actually daytime. There you can sort of see the embossing now better. And also the shadows of my camera and stuff. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Day 10. If you'd like to win it, please put in the comments down below that you would like to be entered to win the Day 10 Valentine card. And uh, if you're the winner, which will be drawn actually, by the way, on the 15th day of this series, and I believe that's going to be the 26th of January. Yes, which uh, I don't remember what day that is, but um, I think it's a Tuesday. So come back uh, at the end and I'll have the drawings for all day, uh, days 1 through 14 on the 15th day, which I think, like I said, is the 26th. Hope you enjoyed that, and I will talk to you again soon. Hugs, love, and peace.